Howdy, Michael Davies here with the pharmaceutical company, we will talk a little bit about the use and dosage of the drug and some of the side effects this medication. Albuterol is a bronchodilator that relaxes muscles in the airways and increases airflow to the lungs. Albuterol inhalation is used to treat or prevent bronchospasm or narrowing of the airways in the lungs in people with asthma or certain types of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. It is also used to prevent exercise induced bronchospasm. Albuterol inhalation is for use in adults and children who are at least four years old. Some brands or forms of this medicine are not for use in children younger than 12 years old. You should not use this medicine if you are allergic to albuterol. You should not use Pro Air Recipe Click if you are allergic to milk proteins. Albuterol may increase the risk of death or hospitalization in people with asthma, but the risk in people with obstructive airway disease or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, is not known. To make sure albuterol inhalation is safe for you, tell your doctor if you have heart disease, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, a heart rhythm disorder, a seizure disorder such as epilepsy, diabetes, overactive thyroid. It is not known whether albuterol will harm an unborn baby. Tell your doctor if you are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. If you are pregnant, your name may be listed on a pregnancy registry to track the effects of albuterol on the baby. It may not be safe to breastfeed while using this medicine. Ask your doctor about any risk. Use albuterol inhalation exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Follow all directions on your prescription label. Do not use albuterol inhalation in larger or smaller amounts or for longer than recommended. Read all patient information, medication guides, and instruction sheets provided to you. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. You may need to prime your albuterol inhaler device before the first use. Your medicine comes with directions for priming if needed. You may also need to shake your albuterol device just before each use. Do not allow a young child to use albuterol inhalation without help from an adult. The usual dose of albuterol inhalation is two inhalations every four to six hours. To prevent exercise-induced bronchospasm, use two inhalations 15 to 30 minutes before you exercise. The effects of albuterol inhalation should last about four to six hours. Seek medical attention if you think your asthma medications are not working as well. An increased need for medication could be an early sign of a serious asthma attack. Say the missed dose as soon as you remember. Skip the missed dose if it is almost time for your next scheduled dose. Do not use extra medicine to make up the missed dose. Get emergency medical help if you have signs of an allergic reaction to albuterol, hives, difficult breathing, swelling of your face, lips, tongue, or throat. Call your doctor at once if you have wheezing, choking, or other breathing problems after using this medicine. Chest pain, fast heart rate, pounding heartbeats or fluttering in your chest pain or burning when you urinate, increased thirst, increased urination, hunger, dry mouth, fruity breath odor, drowsiness, dry skin, blurred vision, weight loss, or signs of low potassium, leg cramps, constipation, irregular heartbeats, fluttering in your chest, extreme thirst, increased urination, numbness or tingling, muscle weakness or limp feeling. Common albuterol side effects may include chest pain, fast or pounding heartbeats, dizziness, feeling shaky or nervous, headache, back pain, body aches, or cough, sore throat, sinus pain, runny or stuffy nose. If you use an albuterol inhaler, ask your pharmacist or doctor to check that you are using it correctly. You may need to prime your inhaler before first use or shake it prior to use. Follow the instructions provided. Most inhalation devices require regular cleaning or else they will clog. Follow the instructions provided on how to clean your device and mouthpiece. Store your device at room temperature away from heat, cold, open flames and moisture. Do not puncture or burn an empty canister. Avoid spraying into the eyes. 
rinse eyes with water if this happens by accident. Albuterol relieves breathlessness but does not reduce inflammation. Needing to use albuterol more frequently than usual may be a sign that your asthma is destabilizing and you should seek immediate medical advice for a re-evaluation of your treatment regimen and the possible need for anti-inflammatory treatment, such as corticosteroids, to heal the airways. Deterioration of asthma can occur quite quickly over several hours, or it may take days or weeks. Albuterol alone is usually not enough to achieve good asthma control in most adults and children with asthma. Corticosteroids, such as butacinide, palmicort or fluticosin, flovin are often also needed. Always keep albuterol on hand at all times, and refill your prescription before you run out completely. Keep using all other medications as prescribed by your doctor. Seek emergency help if you have signs of an allergic reaction, breathing difficulties, facial swelling, hives, chest pain or fast heart rate, pain or burning when you urinate, signs of high blood sugar. Effects of albuterol usually last 4 to 6 hours, sometimes 8 hours or longer. Unless your doctor has told you to, resist the temptation to increase the dose of albuterol or to take it more frequently if the effects appear to be wearing off sooner. Instead, seek medical attention immediately, as this can be a sign of deteriorating asthma control that can be masked by albuterol overuse. Medicines that interact with albuterol may either decrease its effect, affect how long it works for, increase side effects, or have less of an effect when taken with albuterol. An interaction between two medications does not always mean that you must stop taking one of the medications. However, sometimes it does. Speak to your doctor about how drug interactions should be managed. That's all for today. Subscribe to the Pharmacological channel and stay with us. Good luck.